Warning, this video is intended for adult collectors. It contains plastic collectibles, questionable opinions, and a man with far too much free time on his hands. This is not a test. This is a random review. Before we begin, thank you very much to Rich L for rejoining the Patreon campaign. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Always love to see a returning patron. Thank you very much for the support to help keep the channel going and the daily content coming. Always love to have more people on. Uh, Rich also pitched in at the top level, which means they are entitled to a request video of any type that I do, any topic that they want me to talk about, as long as it is within YouTube terms of service. So, barring that, the, they are free to ask me, and anyone who pitches in at the top level is more than welcome to ask me for any review or video they want me to do. So, uh, today, on the other hand, we have a video requested by someone very special to the channel, which is YOLO Park. So, for full YouTube disclosure reasons, yes, this was provided to me for review by YOLO Park themselves. I thank them very much for allowing me the opportunity to do this, because this is always really exciting to get to play with some really high quality stuff very, very early. All right, so, Today we are looking at the brand new G1 Megatron kit from their AMK Pro Series Action Model Kit. We've talked about the AMKs on this channel before and I was incredibly impressed by how good they were for the cost in size, quality, uh, articulation, detail. Really marvelous uh, advance, like just really marvelous figures for what you're paying. And today we are looking at a Pro version. So what does Pro mean in this case? It means that we are expecting a higher quality paint job with incredible detail. We are expecting a lot more accessories and we are expecting a few die cast parts worked in as well as some electronic features. So we're actually getting quite a bit out of this one. So we are going to determine whether or not this is worth the extra cost. Knowing Yolo Park, probably, but you know what? It's good to confirm. So, this is what you get when you open up your Build a Tyrant kit. Uh, the way that AMK model kits work is that they aren't only really technically model kits. You do basically the last stage of building, uh, which is all the components are done. You just need to completely assemble the body, which is you know pretty standard at the end of a kit. Still lets you build something while making sure that everything is nicely assembled and you know very well painted and detailed. Okay, so uh, before we begin, I will warn everyone: I did uh, I did lose a little bit of skin on my right hand. I'll try not to point it out on camera, uh, but uh, needless to say, don't try to clip anything off of a 3D print while the printer is still running. Uh, so yeah, I'll try to keep it off screen. I'll, but for the most part, let's. Uh, Let's build us a Megatron really quick here. So, for starters, go ahead and peg the feet in like so. It is a very snug fit to get it in. Give it, I'm just going to give it a few twists to make sure it's as uh, seated as it's going to get. I wonder if it'll, I wonder if it'll help it raise the foot and then just push it in. Yeah, that actually helped a lot. But that, that actually helped a lot more. All right. Same thing over here. Get my thumb in there and give it a good press down. Make sure that is in place nice and tight. All right. Pelvis now. Fortunately, we can actually see this one, so I can see if I've got it all the way on or not. Yeah, the connection points are actually really snug. Yeah, this thing's not falling apart anytime soon, that's for sure. Okay. Torso going on like so. Uh, let's get the arms completely together before we attach them to the chest. So. And very snug. Work that on just like so. Much smaller tab to get the hand on. I'll go ahead and do the same thing over here. See, very quick assembly here. You know, like if you're looking for a model kit experience, it's going to go by very quickly. But I mean, like there's something fun to being able to, you know, finish off the kit and 
enjoy the final product knowing that all the bits and little details are all done correctly already for you. All right. One arm. Twist on. Two arm. All right. So, on the back, we'll do his little shoulder cannon thingy. And then the arm cannon thingy. The most important thingy. Oh, didn't mean to press down on that. That's for later. Come on. And finally. Pop the head onto its ball joint. And now I get to reframe the camera. So instead of transforming, we are now done assembling. And yeah, uh, kind of happy with what I see. So I've been following this kit on the News Roundup for quite a while, and the form and build of it has been impressive the entire time. Uh, and yeah, it just looks <laughs> really, really nice. So I didn't build this and go over it before. Uh, I didn't, I like this, I'm getting my first reaction to this too. And seeing it in person just looks so good. It is just a really, really nice looking Megatron. So let me go in on the head really quick. I'll have to zoom in on this one myself. So the thing about this kit is that originally the head sculpt admittedly needed work. When they first showed it off, the head wasn't quite done, uh, and they took that to heart, and they finished it up, and yeah, the head sculpt looks way better now. Very much Megatron. Very nice and reminiscent. You know, that's what I expect. So, the head sculpt looks great. What about the rest? So, sculpt-wise, everything does look really, really nice. The details on the belly are actually sculpted on. You can see uh, individual panels there alongside the abdomens. Those are all sculpted in. A uh, little bit of tech greeble here and there. You can see on the inside of the legs. On the outside, you've got that grip from the gun mode. And on the inside, you've got the tech greeble from the G1 toy. Nice little touches there. Uh, everything that should be smooth on him is smooth as well. You take a look at the back. You do have a little bit of lingering detail here and there. But yeah, overall, just really nicely sculpted. Really well proportioned. Like, just... Like, proportionally, this feels spot on, right? And then we get into paint work. And you, know, you look at the midsection alone for the paint. But then take a look at the edges of everything. Like, one, the wear and tear is not symmetrical, which is always a great thing. Good to see when they're paying attention to things like that. But it's also a little bit more natural looking. Like, I like this weathering a lot more than I liked how they did it on Siege, where it was just way overdone. Here it's a more subtle detail. You know, you can see like little highlight lights on the edges of his silver body. Uh, you can see like that exposed metal coming through in the dark gray on his legs. It's just really well done. And then there's the tarnish. Look at the tarnish. Look at the specks of rust on his feet. You know, look at it on his arms. Like, it's all around just like really good detail and a really small detail but it adds up so quick and then you've got all these recessed black areas that have a little bit of wash to them just to make it come out even a lot you know just a little bit more and it's just everywhere i look it's just really impressive what they have accomplished you know talk about a premium paint job it's a megatron that genuinely looks like ancient metal and that is a really cool accomplishment to do in a plastic action figure. So let me go ahead and back it up a little bit. We need to regain zoom, regain focus, uh, life goals, really. Yeah, and just, yeah, overall, just super cool. So I don't have my AMK Optimus Prime here at the toy shop, which I really should have thought of ahead of time. I do have the Primal, though, so we can get a little bit of a size comparison with that. And yeah, actually measures up pretty well. I'm happy that these are actually going to be somewhat in scale uh, with each other. Uh, yeah, and yeah, these will all be able to stand nice and even on your shelves if you're collecting the AMK series specifically. All going to match really, really nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay, so 
Typically at this point, I guess we go through articulation and then we get to accessories as a part of my actual review process. So we can go ahead and take him back. Hey, hey Megatron, uh, we just took you away from the camera. Welcome back to it. So as you saw during assembly, the head is on a ball joint. You get plenty of motion up and down as well as full 360 all the way around. Let's see the shoulders. The shoulders have that lift away motion that keeps that point above the torso, which means you've got full 90 degree outward bend on that, which is great to see. Uh, full 360 degree rotation at the torso as well. Bicep, like we said, is one of the connection points. It's very tight, uh, but it does have a full uh, 360 degrees of rotation. The elbow has beyond 90 degree bend. I love to see that. And you got that faux piece in the middle that makes it look that, that uh, prevents it from looking like it's floating. Always good to see. Hand time. And the hand's got a lot going on here. So the thumb has an individual hinge for articulation. At the fingers, the lower three fingers are all one piece here at the until they get to the knuckle, and then the back knuckle is also a hinge, and then the index finger has the same joints, but it's completely separate. So you got a lot of play in the hand. That's actually quite well done, you know, without getting too complicated on it. All right, that's just, that's everything above the waist. Oh, I should mention, uh, yeah, obviously the wrists rotate as well. How about, a, how about we get a little bit closer to, the, to going below? We have a torso rock. Uh, it goes in every direction, so it is ball jointed. Great to see. Waist plugs in, of course, so it's a 360 degree rotation. Let's check out those thighs, shall we? Let's try those hips. All these skirts fold out of the way, so you can actually get a wider range of motion. Hips can go all the way out and all the way forward. You get a little bit of restriction going back, but you're not going to really need that for most of your poses. Full 360 degree rotation at the hip, at the, at the thigh. And then look at that knee bend. Look at that double jointed knee. We love to see a double jointed knee that goes that deep. And then at the ankle, see, we got back and forth. We got angle tilt left and right. Great to see. And we got a toe. We got toe articulation. So all the points you would expect on a modern transformer and then a whole lot more. Stuff I would normally expect to see on like masterpiece level transformer is represented here. So for what you're paying, you're getting a really high quality action figure kit with a ton of, you know, expressible detail, as well as a lot of subtle posing, which is always great to see. He absolutely does just about everything I would want him to do at this size. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. Batting a thousand so far. We need to go a little bit further, though, because now we have... Uh, let's do electronics first, because there are electronic gimmicks in this toy. So for starters, my favorite part about this is the, the head actually uses a magnetic trick in order to turn on the lights on the eyes. For that, you actually have to unpeg his back cannon, which again is a pretty tight fit, so just warm it out very carefully. And now for the head... In order to get this to work, you just take the metal tip on the end and you just stick it on his forehead. And there go his eyes. We do it again, we get it blinking, and then, uh, let's see, I think I hit it twice by accident. There we go. You get a fade in and out effect on the eyes. Yeah, it's actually pretty, it's actually pretty cool. They have uh, different uh, options for uh, how the electronics in the eyes work. Yeah, so you have that like, subtle glow when they turn on. That's actually kind of neat. There you go. The little... Yeah, that little like evil pulsing that they're doing. That's cool. That's cool. It's actually really cool. Go ahead and turn off. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that back. And then on the arm cannon, because of course you have to have an LED on Megatron's cannon, and this one's a lot simpler button on top turns on the cannon blast so that's actually another cool little feature like electronics like that again not something you see at this size typically so cool that they include it now the cool thing here or at least the thing you need to know i don't think this is cool but something you need to know 
you're going to deal with two completely different types of batteries for both. Uh, the Canon, for instance, uh, you're going to need three of these, a 364, and then for the head, you're going to need one CR927. So if you're planning to get this one, go ahead and get those uh, batteries ordered off of Amazon. I will warn you, uh, the 364 you can probably get at a local drugstore. The 927, in order to find locally, I had to go to a store that exclusively sells batteries. That's the only place in town that actually had it. And it was the first time he had ever sold that size. It's a pretty obscure one, so just be aware. Okay, we got more to show off because this kit just does not stop. So, for starters, we have uh, a range of accessories. For instance, the chest can actually come off, and we can replace it with a battle-damaged chest to replicate his appearance in the 86 movie. It's really well detailed, very well crumpled up. Looks like his chest is made of paper. That's pretty much what we're going for in that one. Let's see. What else do we have here? We have his laser sword also from the 86 movie, and my favorite accessory from the 86 movie, the gun that killed Optimus Prime. So that is included as well, and it's always hysterical when that is an option. You're also going to get a key to Vector Sigma. I love when they include this. Again, one of my favorite little accessories. So I've got a key hook on there. I got to almost wear that as like a charm. In fact, I might wear that as a charm to TFCon. I might actually do that. Uh, beyond that, let's see, and I will, I'll put, I'll put something in his hand here just so you can see it, but uh, we do have another one that I actually have to show off, which is the traditional Energon mace, which replaces his hand. And the cool thing about this Energon mace is the chain is completely hinged, so you can properly pose it. You can properly just do things with it that give it kind of a, a nice motion effect, which is always cool to see. A lot of times, it is either... The earlier times that Hasbro or Takara tried this, it was act, as an actual plastic chain, so it just sank. It just fell with gravity. This, way better. This is actually useful. So, you got plenty to do with it there. Uh, let's see. Okay, should I give you your other sword? Yeah, let's just go, like, Megatron's going full melee today. So we're going to have him hold the Energon sword and the mace while we could talk about the rest of this. Uh, for the rest, hang on. We can, uh, this will be easier if I just, you know, pop the head off. Which, don't worry, you will uh, have to do from time to time. Ooh, did I miss a part of articulation? Did I miss a part of articulation where the head could actually fold down too? Oh my god, this, this toy keeps giving. You know, this toy just keeps on giving. So... On top of all of that, we also have alternate faces that we can switch on. So, there is one that's far more detailed, interestingly enough. So, I think that works a little bit better with a battle damage face, but it's not battle damage. It's just like higher level of detail, like the good animators were working on this episode. And then you just have the same expression as that one, but calm. And I'm going to go ahead and switch that on. So, go ahead and pull this off. The eyes are actually an individual piece. You actually need to remove his eyes, gruesome as that sounds, and plug them into the new face, and then plug it all back into the head. There we go. And now Megatron's got his more calm, stern expression. All right, so we can go ahead and put that back on his head. Well, put it on his body, rather. And now, yeah, he looks a lot more uh, typical Megatron. Well, I guess if we, uh, I guess if we swapped his chest back in, then he would look far more like, you know, typical Megatron. Okay, so for all of this, if you want just a little bit more, hey, is this not enough accessory for you? Uh, don't worry, we got one more. Got a full-blown display stand as well. Uh, one that actually has like a tiny little Decepticon emblem there at the base. Now, I will admit, I don't think this has quite enough range. It, uh, the arms do have little stoppers that I think stops them a little bit short. But that is going to help you hold up uh, the toy during flight or combat poses. So, obviously, by the way he's standing, he doesn't really need the stand in order to stay upright. It's mostly for battle poses, and it's mostly for flight poses. So, you're gonna, it's going to do fine for what it's designed for. Uh, 
yeah, it, you don't need it to just hold the toy up. That part's fine. And I did mention die-cast, didn't I? So, yes, we are expecting die-cast on this toy as well. But where, oh where, did it go? So, you know me, die-cast can be used very irresponsibly, and it can be to the detriment of the toy, either making it more fragile or making some of its points of articulation, well, kind of worthless. In this case, the die-cast is limited to the toes of the feet, the front panels on the pelvis, and the non-battle damage chest. The actual battle damage chest is a plastic piece. So the die cast here is used responsibly. It gives them a little bit of heft, and it actually is in the right locations. In the feet, it helps lower the center of gravity so the toy stays balanced better, and so the toy isn't tempted to fall backwards, because of course his heels are smaller than his toes. All the rest of the metal is kept in the front. Again, switches the point of gravity. So extremely well done and very interestingly done. So I'm not against this die cast. This actually works pretty well. Oh, and by the way, the key to Vector Sigma, also metal given its purpose. That's uh, pretty appropriate. So all of that said, all of these features, this incredible range of articulation, this incredibly cool paint job, uh, the like all the different like accessories and how useful they are like everything about this thing is just incredibly impressive and i'm thrilled with how this ultimately turned out so for actually less than the cost of like the super seven ultimates figures you're getting a figure with higher articulation way better paint more useful and better accessories and just you know an electro and even led gimmicks and just an overall more fun experience and Yellow Park continues to amaze me with what they accomplish. It's not just because they send it to me. Legitimately, for, for its price, this is an incredibly cool piece that I have to go to really high-end transformers of this size in order to replicate. And this is a far more affordable price at that. So, that, my friends, is AMK Pro Megatron, another fantastic Yellow Park release. If you've liked what you've seen in today's video and you want one of your own, please visit the link in the description below to go order your own. I would very much appreciate it if you use my link to do it. Uh, and yeah, I'm super like now we've got that Optimus Prime coming out in this series and I'm super excited to see both of them together. Like I'm just really excited for what they do in the future with these. So Thank you again to Yolo Park for helping out and for providing this. Uh, it has been an absolute joy. And thank you everyone for watching. I will see you next time. I'm like, I think you guys got this. I will back away and I will see you all later. You've got this handled. <laughs> Alafi's like, really? You're not gonna help me? Like, it's fine now. It's like these disgusting <laughs> creatures breathing down my neck and you're all just like, I believe in you, you got this. That all right, you seem to have this. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs>